Hey guys, so I want to teach you something that I thought was super cool when I went to Animal Behavior College. Um, and I know that people understand that there's different types of breeds of dogs as well as what category they're placed in for um, people like the AKC, the American Kennel Club. Um, these different categories are like herding dogs or flock dogs or hunting um, and all these little categories are great but there's another different thing that I really feel people don't know too much about and it's an archetype of dog. I mean you can google search archetype of dog and you're not going to see what archetypes pop up for different breeds. So my favorite to learn about was the Nordic dog. As a kid I've grown up and I've loved huskies to my very core you know. Um, but I also live in Los Angeles, and I feel that one of the biggest concerns with friends of mine that love huskies but live here is that they don't want to own them because of the heat. Um, and this is just a big, huge misconception. Like, ah, what, what I'm about to tell you is going to blow your mind. So I know that you all know that huskies and most Nordic dogs like Akitas or Chows, uh, they're... They were created in colder climates, that's where they live, so through evolution they learned to adapt to the cold, right? So that's how a lot of people view their, like, why they can be in the cold, I guess. <laughs> but here's the thing. Their fur is a double-coated fur. So it works as insulation. This is why they're capable of staying warm during the winter. The best part about their insulated fur is it does the opposite when it's really hot. So when they're when it's extremely hot outside, like this California weather, not right now, obviously, because I'm in a sweatshirt, but when it gets up to like 100, 110 degrees here in California, these dogs are capable of staying cold. So their fur continues to work as insulation in the heat. So over summer, these huskies and chows and akitas and Alaskan malamutes, they're all capable of staying cold over summer and warm over winter. And I think this is such a great thing for people to understand about these types of dogs because we don't know it. It's not common. You can Google search it. It's not out there. I learned it through Animal Behavior College and a lot of people that do dog grooming, they, they don't have to go get an education about different archetypes of dogs. And I feel that over the many years, over the next, I don't know, 10 to 50 years, we're going to be learning that much more about dogs and their breeds and being capable of understanding them better. I really hope that it becomes a standard for us as dog trainers to get an education in dog training because it is so important to understand these things. I, I want to encourage people to get dogs like Huskies and adopt them here in LA because so many of them are in shelters because people don't understand what it takes to own a Husky. And it, it breaks my heart. Like, they're just such amazing dogs. They're so intelligent. Once you've got their training down, um, they're, they're just beautiful and they're so kind and loving and they will have your back no matter what. And a lot of people refuse to get them because of their fur and because they just make that assumption that they're going to get really hot over summer. Um, the people that do own huskies, they do shave them. And I'm going to tell you another thing that I really think you guys need to stop doing, and that is shaving. Please stop shaving huskies. Um, stop shaving any Nordic dog, any dog that has a double-coated fur. They should not be shaved, especially over summer. Um, like I said, it works as insulation. If you're going to take that away, they're going to overheat. They're used to the insulation keeping them cool. So as soon as you strip them of that insulation, they're going to get really hot and they can actually die from something like heat stroke over summer if you shave them. So please stop shaving any type of Nordic dog. Um, 
Now, on a side note, because like I said, I feel like we're going to learn a lot over the next like 10 to 50 years about dogs. Um, there's an English, an English lab and there's an American lab, right? And both of them are classified as the same type of dog. They're even classified with the same archetype. And I don't think that they should be. I've seen my grandfather loves labs. He's owned American and he's owned English. And <clears throat> we have one. I like to call him Grandpa Fred because he's Grandpa's dog. Um, <laughs> but Grandpa Fred will lay in a pool while it's snowing on his head and not be affected by this. Um, he would get extremely hot over summer, but my grandparents also had him shaved and groomed every week, which Nordic dogs should not be shaved or groomed every week. They should not be shaved, period, but they should also not be groomed every week. They should be groomed once a month at the minimum. So these um, English labs, I think, have the Nordic fur even though it's not there yet. So I don't want you to like be, oh, well, Lisa said, um, because if I am wrong, I'm wrong. But I really feel like at some point in time, we're going to establish that they have a double coated fur. It's not as long as a Husky or a Chow or an Akita, but it is thick and it's, you go to wash them and it just kind of runs off of them. It'll, the water will trickle off. And if you own any type of Nordic dog, you will witness this this happen with their fur, right? It doesn't just soak in, um, kind of like my hair. I have to get like, really in there to shampoo it um, because I'm so greasy, American Indian. But the these dogs, you actually have to like really work to get the water up and under and into their fur because it is it works as a repellent. It just kind of runs the water off. Um, so all these Nordic dogs, please stop shaving them. Please stop giving the excuse that you can't own one in LA. You totally can. You have to train them. They love mental activity. It's so important to give them mental activity every single day or they're going to be buck wild. So, I mean, even with my dog, who is a German Shepherd um, pit, I have to literally go through the training process with her every day or she just gets really bored and when they're bored they do behaviors that you're not gonna like so please 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 give them mental stability train them activities are great do not shave them wash them once a month at the minimum and remember that they can be in the hot and in the cold just brush them every week that's what I would I would recommend brushing them every week but you don't have to shave them shaving them is so 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 bad so now go out there adopt a husky adopt an Akita adopt a Nordic dog and just love any type of dog that you want to love no matter where you're living because they're so worth it um, take the time remember it takes a lot of patience and if you don't have the patience to train a dog or the time then don't don't get one to return it. It is so heartbreaking when we finally find a home for a dog and then they come right back to us um, because they deserve to be happy and they deserve to be in a loving home. Thanks so much, guys. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.